Alright everyone, hello, welcome back to the Battle Plans podcast. Today we're going to be talking about the Battle of Spionkop, which was a battle that happened on January 23rd, 24, 23rd to 24th. It was a two-day battle here in uh, 1900 in South Africa. This was fought between the British forces and the Boer forces of the South African Republic and the Orange Free State when the British were trying to relieve their forces in Ladysmith during the start of the Second Boer War. So, just to give you a little context here, that's after the First Boer War. Well, no way. So, the British were trying to capture this massive hill of Spion Kop because it allowed them a tactical advantage over the Boers as they could place their artillery on top of the massive hill and bombard their enemy from afar. Also, Spion Kop was right in the middle of the Boer line, um, so this would give them a huge advantage if they were able to take it. It's kind of like, um, I remember doing a podcast about Waterloo. Um, if you remember that house that was right in the center of the battlefield, that's kind of what this is, except there aren't little side orchards that are also being focused on, it's just this. So the British, they initiated their plan at night when they attacked the Boer forward encampment. Um, they drove off the 15 men picket and set up there. However, the British didn't know it was a picket. If you don't know, a picket is just like a few soldiers that are set in front of the main line uh, to scout the enemy. Um, basically, the British drove them off, but they thought that it was just a part of that line and that they're just so spread out um, that this was just part of the main uh, Boer line. However, they miscalculated as it was a very foggy night and they couldn't see all the way up, up at the top of the hill So they thought they captured the whole hill But in reality, they had only captured a very small low position of Spion Cop and were actually um, Facing three different Boer encampments on either side of them uh, Spion Cop had multiple peaks and the Boers held all the rest of those peaks looking down on the British um, and they dug shallow trenches, but those really didn't help them against the Boer's superior vantage point and only served to obstruct the Brits' vision. So all, all around, this was a really bad position for the British, but they, if they had the initiative right now, they could still keep surprising the Boers. However, they didn't. Um, so the Boers weren't really concerned at this point that the British had taken part of the hill. They just brought their artillery to bear on the British, and it was said that they fired 10 rounds a minute at that spot. Of course, that left a lot of British dead. Britain had lost the initiative, and so they had lost the battle. Soon they were driven off the hill um, through Boer infantry, although the engagement was still bloody for both sides due to poor communication. Um, there was uh, very low morale on both sides, so there was lots of routes, but in the end, um, Boers were able to drive Britain far, far away, and they lost that uh, battle. So good for the Boers, I guess. I hope you enjoyed that podcast, and I'll see you guys later. Make sure to subscribe and follow and like and do all the other cool stuff. Watch my other podcasts and other YouTube videos, and I'll see you guys later. Adios.